Scooting away from photography and editing for a minute, today we're gonna dive into tech. I own a Tesla Model 3 and it's a car that I absolutely love and it's a car that also doesn't stop showing me love right back. Today I received the version 11 update, which is essentially their holiday update. I wanted to do a breakdown video discussing all the new changes to the UI. But before we do all that, if you're new to this channel, then thanks for stopping by. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe so you can get more videos like this one. If you're into photography, film, editing, and tech, this is the place to be. And if you're returning because you're already subscribed, then congratulations, you my friend are not a potato. All right, so let's dive into everything new in version 11 for Tesla Model 3 and Model Y. So the first thing you'll notice is just how radically different the UI is. It's much sleeker, and in my opinion, the new icon set is improved from the monotone previous versions. Now we have a customizable app launcher. You're able to open the drawer, drag and drop your most used apps, and place them at the bottom of the display. And on this side over here, you have your previously opened app. Waypoints is now added into the navigation pane, so you can add stops for your road trips. My personal favorite change though is the automatic blind spot camera. So once enabled, anytime you turn on your blinker, that side's camera opens up and gives you a view of your blind spot. I know this isn't groundbreaking and other cars have been doing this for a while, but it's a nice feature that we have added. For the fun stuff, we now have TikTok, Tidal, Sonic, and Christmas Light Show, which is just so badass. Check this out. We also got an improved management system for dash cam footage. The left side of the screen can be moved to cover the entire screen now too. I'm not sure if this is exclusive to full self-drive owners, but this is basically what it does. And the cards that were previously located at the bottom have been moved over. For an example, the odometer and trip computer can now be found in controls and then trips. And the tire pressure is now located under the services tab. Every menu has virtually changed, including the look of your music menus. All in all, version 11 is a huge UI update with tons of cool new features. In my opinion, it seems like the Tesla team spent a lot of time perfecting version 11. All right guys, that is it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button. If I missed any specific features or you discover something that I haven't, be sure to drop a comment below and let us know. Also, if you wanna see more videos like this about Tesla specifically, let me know. And that is it for this video. I will see you in the next one. Peace.